Hey, what's up guys? Rev here. Now today I find myself in a quandary, a position I didn't think I'd ever find myself in. People who are familiar with this channel know that I'm not a fan of censorship. I don't like things being changed or censored unless it's totally necessary. Having said that, I find myself in an odd situation where I think a form of censorship is probably a means towards less censorship. Sounds like a misprint from a fortune cookie, but I will explain what this means. This video is about the anime series Azure Lane. Azure Lane actually started up as a side-scrolling shoot-em-up app out of China. The characters in the game are Moe depictions of warships from World War II. Shocking, I know, but the setting in the game is not based on actual events, but as an alternative timeline to World War II. Launched in 2017, the game became quickly popular, especially in Japan, which eventually led to its adaptation into several manga and novelizations. And as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, it led to the eventual anime adaptation that released last year. Now, people who are familiar with the game, manga, or anime know Azure Lane has a lot of fan service in it. And this isn't some review of it. I don't care about whether it's good for the series, not good for the series. It really doesn't matter for the purposes of this video. But one thing definitely seems clear. The majority of the Azure Lane audience is more than likely adults. Which would also make sense, since the anime adaptation is TVMA for mature audiences. So everything is okay at this point. But then, enter Funimation. That's right. Funimation is back at it again, ready to drop a turd on whatever they can get their hands on, and this time, it's Azure Lane. Specifically, their Blu-ray release of the anime series. Instead of releasing it under the original TVMA rating, Funimation is going to censor the series in order to make it a TV-14 series, with the hope of reaching a younger demographic. So like I said earlier, I think you'd have to be pretty out of touch to seriously believe that a younger audience is what's best for this series. It's riddled with fan service, and if we're being honest, it's really an etchy anime that borderlines on hentai to begin with. So instead of just releasing it to the adult audience it's best suited for, Funimation decides to censor it and alter it to fit into a younger market. Only Funimation can come up with ideas like this. And it's just weird that there's already the original Japanese subtitled Blu-rays out there, uncensored, and now you want to hamstring the dub to reach a younger group of viewers? Sounds dumb to me, but what do I know? As I mentioned earlier, this is a weird case where censorship is a good thing, and by censorship, I mean leaving it alone at a TVMA rating. It might cut off that precious younger viewer base, but you save the main consumers of it. And that's all I really got about this, another good old goof from Funimation, and let's not kid ourselves, people are just going to pirate it anyways. But that's it for this video, see you guys next time.